Now to fix it, open file explorer in the computer and then go to this PC, open C drive. Now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder. Now open the local folder. Now open sand fall folder. Now open save folder. Open config folder. Now if you have the game on Steam, open Windows folder. If you have the game on Xbox app or store, in that case, open Win GDK folder. So first of all, I'll show first Steam, open Windows folder. Over here, you can see game user settings. You can just copy this file, paste it, create a copy, and then make a right click. And then you can rename it as game.ini. Or you can simply just name this file as game. So this will be game.ini file. Make a double click, remove everything, control A. Save it and then copy these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. So now you can paste this command over here and then go to file and then click on save. So now this game file has these entry. Once you save it, now you can make a right click and then go to properties and then put a check on the box which says read only and then hit apply click on ok and then you can launch the game and then check that should fix the problem now if you don't have game user settings if you don't have any ini file in that case you can just make a right click and then you can select new and then you can select text document and then you can name it as game dot ini INI and then you can paste these commands and then go to file click on save and then make a right click on this and then you can again go to properties and put a check on read only apply ok and then you can launch the game and then check if you don't have game user settings now for game pass user you can go back and then open win gdk again do the same thing you can copy this you can paste it and then you can just rename it as game.ini. This is already an INI folder. And then file. Now copy this command. And this is for game pass user. Paste it. Go to file. Save. Now make a right click. And then go to properties. And then put a check on read only. Hit apply. Click on OK. Again, if you have, if you don't have game user settings, do the same thing. Make a right click new text document and then you can do the same thing. Open it, rename it as game.ini and then paste the command. Put a check on read only and then launch. So that should fix it. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.